In this video, I'll share my six observations about the United States after living abroad for seven years. America is the land of freedom and opportunity, they say. Many people come here to live out their American dream, which has been a common aspiration for many people around the world. The reality of achieving the American dream may vary for each individual. While some people may achieve success and happiness, others may have difficulties and setbacks. As immigrants work to integrate into American society and pursue their aspirations, social obstacles, prejudice, and economic inequalities may present difficulties. So let's jump right in. Number one is freedom. Despite being seen as a country of freedom and democracy, the United States does not rank among the top 10 countries with the highest human freedom indexes, but it ranks at number 15. The US has been criticized for multiple aspects of its criminal justice system, such as high incarceration rates, racial inequalities, and concerns about due process. The presence of socioeconomic inequalities, such as financial differences and access to healthcare and education, might influence a country's views of overall freedom for humans. Concerns regarding socioeconomic mobility and inequalities in opportunity contribute to the United States ranking. While the US may not be among the top 10 countries in terms of human freedom indexes, understanding the variables that contribute to this position is critical for improving freedom for individuals, civil rights, and social well-being. Number two on our list is food. One of the major issues regarding food quality in the United States comes from the widespread use of industrialized agricultural methods. Pesticides, herbicides, and synthetic fertilizers are frequently used in large-scale farming operations. These compounds can harm soil soil health, water quality, and the nutritional value of plants. Furthermore, the use of antibiotics and growth hormones in livestock farming raises worries about possible negative impacts on human health. The quality of the food we eat has a significant impact on our health and overall well-being. A diet of high processed foods, toxic chemicals, and possibly dangerous compounds might contribute to the growth of chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Furthermore, the environmental repercussions of industrialized agriculture, GMOs, genetically modified organisms, and chemical use can have long-term consequences on the health of our planet's ecosystems, water supplies, and biodiversity. The influence of huge food companies and their focus on profit margins can have an impact on food quality. Some businesses prioritize cost efficiency and shelf life over nutritional content and sustainability. This strategy may result in the prioritization of processed foods, harmful components, and practices that undermine food quality. Furthermore, the concentration of power within the food business can limit consumer choices and discourage the establishment of alternative, healthier food systems. Another area of concern is the presence of genetically modified organisms in the US food supply. GMO crops have been engineered to have specific characteristics such as pest herbicide resistance. However, there is disagreement over the possible long-term health and environmental repercussions. Furthermore, the labeling of GMO products is still a difficult issue with little transparency for customers. Number three is healthcare. The rising expense of healthcare in the US is a substantial obstacle for many people. The high costs of medical operations, prescription drugs, and insurance premiums can create financial pressure, requiring people to make difficult choices between getting critical care and meeting other fundamental necessities. This problem is aggravated further by a lack of price transparency, which allows for inappropriate billing practices and exaggerated expenses in the healthcare industry. Access to inexpensive and high quality healthcare is a chronic issue in the US as compared to Canada, where it is free. Millions of Americans are still uninsured or underinsured, making it difficult for them to access timely and comprehensive care. Rural towns and marginalized people confront extra challenges, such as a shortage of healthcare practitioners and inadequate infrastructure. The lack of universal healthcare coverage and disparities in access promote health inequalities and contribute to lower health outcomes for specific demographics. Complexity of health insurance is also one of the key reasons why healthcare in the United States is considered difficult. Many people find it difficult to understand the complexities of insurance plans such as coverage limitations, deductibles, co-payments, and network restrictions. People are frequently confused and exposed to unanticipated out-of-pocket payments due to a lack of transparency and a multitude of insurance options. The fragmented nature of the US healthcare system creates challenges for providing coordinated and efficient care. People frequently face difficulties in coordinating care across several physicians, managing medical data, and navigating complex referral systems. Fragmentation can result in fragmented treatment plans, repeated tests, and communication gaps resulting in inferior care experiences and potentially jeopardizing patient outcomes. The issues in the US healthcare system impact people with disabilities in particular. People with low incomes, racial and ethnic minorities, the elderly and those with chronic diseases confront major challenges to accessing and affording healthcare. Inequalities in health based on wealth, race and geographic location contribute to the persistence of systemic imbalances and worsen existing inequality in society. Number four is education. One of the key worries 
in the U.S. educational system is the growing expense of college tuition. While higher education in the United States is frequently expensive, several European countries offer tuition-free or significantly lower-cost education. Countries such as Germany, Norway, and Sweden have established measures to make higher education more accessible to all, reducing the financial burden on students and eliminating the need for student loans. The student loan debt problem has reached unprecedented proportions, with millions of Americans burdened with enormous educational debt. Graduates face the tough job of repaying loans while establishing careers and achieving financial stability. The burden of student debt restricts people's financial freedom, affecting their capacity to save, buy homes, establish businesses, and pursue their dreams. Access to higher education is another issue in the U.S. education system. While financial aid programs exist, they may not adequately cover the escalating expenses of tuition, leaving students with gaps to fill through loans or personal cash. Limited access to cheap education disproportionately affects students from low-income families, reinforcing socioeconomic inequality and impeding social mobility. The burden of student debt frequently influences students' employment choices and opportunities. Graduates may choose higher-paying positions to meet their loan obligations, even if those occupations are not in line with their interests or career goals. The difficulties in the U.S. educational system, as well as the load of student debt, necessitate a substantial overhaul. Among the potential solutions are increasing access to affordable education, policies reducing college tuition costs, and expanding financial aid programs can improve access for all people, regardless of socioeconomic status, reform of student loans, exploring loan forgiveness options, altering repayment arrangements, and lowering interest rates can ease borrowers' burdens and enhance financial stability. Number five is government. The US government's use of its military to police the world is a complex and multifaceted issue. While it supports strategic objectives and promotes international security, it is also a source of debate and criticism. It is critical to have informed discussions and debates concerning the US military's participation in global events, the consequences of foreign policy, and the impact on international relations. Number six is cost of living. The majority of Americans stated that they would have to use credit cards to cover $1,000 in emergency expenses. Rising housing, healthcare, education, and other necessity costs have outpaced salary growth for many Americans. This financial weight provides impediments to obtaining financial stability, saving for the future, and realizing the classic notion of the American dream. Nevertheless, throughout history, countless individuals and families have made significant sacrifices to move to the United States in pursuit of a better life. Their stories of resilience, determination, and success have shaped the fabric of American society and contributed to the ongoing narrative of the American dream. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more.